Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolo Tech, and today Apple released iOS 10 Beta 6 or Public Beta 5. They're basically the same thing, they're just different version numbers for some reason. They also released updates for watchOS, Apple TV, and OS 10 Sierra, or Mac OS Sierra rather. And this came in at 81 megabytes and was pretty quick to download. Not a whole lot of changes, but let's take a look at the version number. You'll see the version number is 14A5341A, and the changes really that we can see physically just really aren't there. A couple people have mentioned that if you go to software update, there might be a red circle instead of blue, but since I'm already updated, I can't see that because there's no updates. Now, there was some updates to messages. Most of these fixes are for developers, but basically the search hints will now function as expected in the iMessage store. And when launching an iMessage app, basically using the simulator, there's there were some issues with app extensions. Those are fixed. And then now if you ask Siri about an app that you actually don't have, it will give you an appropriate response where before that was broken. The other two fixes that they actually mention really are just for developers. They have to do with Siri kit and Xcode. There's also about six more pages of known issues. That's down from nine the last time. So that's pretty good. There's no new wallpapers. There's no new physical changes, but I did notice it seems They've smoothed it out, but the speed is a little bit different. When opening folders, it seems like they've slowed it down a little bit. That might, might just be me, I'm not sure, but it seems that way. All the animations look nice and smooth, but they are nice and fast also. Uh, no issues in landscape mode on the Plus model phones. Nothing here. And everything just seems to work pretty good. I think they're really getting it wrapped up. In fact, we've been seeing a release cycle that's being tighter and tighter together, one week apart now instead of every two weeks. Normally the betas come about every two weeks, maybe even three weeks. Now they're one week intervals. So I don't know if that will be the case next week or not, but right now we've got a pretty solid OS. It's much better. And if you haven't tried the public beta yet, it may be a good time to try it, but it will take a few days to see how stable it is and to see if there's any bugs. I actually had a pretty major bug with the dock before where you would move it. Sometimes the, the dock would disappear, it would slide side to side, it would shrink down to nothing, and you'd just move it around and it would actually physically just slide. And this portion was kind of completely separate from everything else. It was kind of weird, and I'm not sure what was going on there. No change to the lock sound from the last one, so it's got a different lock sound now. And there's really not anything else I've been able to find within it. I think they're really kind of nailing down the OS, and I would expect to see updated wallpapers closer to the final release, probably in September, and we'll probably see maybe a few tweaks by then. So that's pretty much it for this beta. I'm not really sure there's anything else. I haven't been able to find anything and I'd love to hear if you've found anything. iPhone 7 should be out sometime in September or whatever they're going to call it with really not too much change. Basically, they're just gonna eliminate this line it looks like and maybe update the cameras and maybe have some connectors here with dual speakers. We're not really sure 100%. Those are all the prototypes at least that we're seeing or at least mock-ups that people have been seeing. So you never really know for sure until Apple announces it, and that should be in September, and hopefully, I'm actually more excited about MacBooks, but let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, what are you most excited for, or maybe even you're switching to something else like Android. Let me know in the comments below. If you want this wallpaper, I'll leave a link in the description below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.